Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So I want us to turn to our Bibles in the book of Matthew chapter 5. The book of Matthew chapter 5, reading from verses 14 to verses 16. That is where I want us to read from. The book of Matthew chapter 5, from verses 14 to verses 16. Uh, this is what the Bible says in verses 14 and verses 16. And I'm reading from the NIV version. And I believe God is going to bless all of us in a very big way in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, verses 14, this is what the Bible says. Matthew 5, 14, 15, and 16. The Bible says, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. Verse 16. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 to 16 is where we have read today. Let me read again. For those of you who are getting to that verse right now, those verses right now, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on, they put it on its stand. And it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see good deeds, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven blessed be the name of the lord and also going i'm also going to read from the book of isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 the book of isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 the book of isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 being my final reading this is what the bible says the bible says arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of god rises upon you Reading from the NIV version. Arise and shine. For your light has come. And the glory of God rises upon you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Today I'm talking about. I'm titling my message. You must shine. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor with an attitude. You must shine. You must shine. In Jesus name. You must shine. In Jesus name. Praise the name of the Lord. You must shine. Amen. Now, the Bible has instructed us in from the book of Matthew chapter 5, 14 to 16, and Isaiah 61, it has instructed us about shining. And especially verses uh, 14 talks about that we are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. And we need to appreciate that we are the light of the world. Can you turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, you are the light of the world. And the Bible says that we are like a town built on a hill that cannot be hidden. And you know, a town that has been built on top of a hill cannot be hidden. So every time you look at yourself as a believer, you must know that you are the light of the world. And the Bible says in verses 15 that neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. So the day you give your life to Jesus Christ, you are put on as a light and there is no way your light can shine and then you put it under a bowl. Because if you put your light under a bowl, what the Bible tells us, and it's very clear for all of us, your light will go off. Hallelujah. And that is what has happened to many of us. We are the light. We are light shining. But we have put ourselves under a bowl. And because once you put your a light under the bowl, because of lack of oxygen, according to science, lack, due to lack of oxygen, the light will go off. Hallelujah. And then the Bible continues to say that instead, instead of putting your light under a bowl, we are supposed to put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. So when there is no electricity, when there is a blackout, you always take your light and put it somewhere whereby it lights the whole house and everybody is able to enjoy that light. That is the kind of a person you are. That the day you give your life to Jesus Christ, you became a light. That everywhere you go, you are supposed to light everywhere you go. If you go to a place where there is darkness, the darkness in that place, in that home, must give way because you are the light. Hallelujah. 
if you come to a village that is full of darkness and you are the light of Jesus, once you get into a village full of darkness, the darkness must flee because you are the light. Amen? Amen. But unfortunately, many of us do what Jesus was talking about in the book of Matthew 5, 14, 15, and 16. We always put our light under the board. We don't want to shine. We don't want people to know that we are a light that is shining. When we went to what we have to do, we have to do to do Atutakangi tujulikane ya kwamba sisi ni muangaza unaonga wa, Muangaza unawaka unaonga Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana And it is very dangerous when you become a person When you becomes a person that uh, uh, hides his light And the Bible says especially verse 16 Let your light shine before others Because when others see your light shining And they see your good deeds They are going to give glory to God Amen Kwa hivyo wakati unakubali tayako ingae na watu wanona tayako inaangaza na wengine wanona tayako inaangaza inangaa watampea Mungu sifa na utukufu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. And that's why I'm telling all of us today, you must shine. So that people may see your good deeds and that they may give God all their glory. Are we together? Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor let your light shine. So that others may see and may give God all the glory. Yes, you must let your light shine so that others may see your light shining and they may give God all the glory because of your good deeds in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. And in Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1, the Bible talks about that. The Bible says, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Arise and shine. We must shine. And today there is grace in this house that will cause you to shine in Jesus' name. There is grace in this house that will provoke you today to arise and shine in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. You must arise and shine. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. We have been instructed that our light must shine before others. Our, last, our light must shine before others. Your light in your family must shine. Your light in your business must shine. Your light in your ministry must shine in Jesus' name. Let your light shine. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wacha tayako ingai let your light shine in your ministry. Let your light shine in your business. Let your light shine in your family. Let your light shine in the gift that God has given you. You have a very special gift that God has given you. Let it shine. Hallelujah. Let it shine in Jesus' name. We have been instructed that we must uh, let our light shine. Why? Why have we been instructed that we should allow our light to shine? We are supposed to let our light shine so that, that uh, people may see our good deeds and give God all the glory. When people don't see your light shining, they don't give God all the glory. Wakati watu hawaoni, tayako inanga, they don't see your good deeds. And when they don't see your good deeds, they don't give God all the glory. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, we must see your good deeds. And when we see your good deeds, we will glorify God. Amen. We will glorify God. Your good deeds, our good deeds are not supposed to be hidden. Matendo yetu mazuri haapaswi kufichika. Bwana yesu wa sifiwe sana. Bwana yesu wa sifiwe sana. Matendo yetu mazuri hayapaswi kufichika. Na kuna watu wanaficha matendo yao mazuri. Kuna watu na kumbuka kuna wakati niluahubiri ya mali hapa nikasema. Yule ambaye anajua kufanya vizuri na hafanyi vizuri. Hamefanya nini? Hamefanya dhambi. Praise the name of the Lord. So many of us have got many good deeds. We try to hide good deeds. Your deeds are not supposed to be hidden in Jesus name. Never allow your good deeds to be hidden. Because when people see your good deeds. That's when they give God all the glory. Imagine if I stop doing the good deeds or preaching the gospel. How will people see my good deeds and how will God be glorified? God will not be glorified. When you stop doing, when you hide your good deeds of being a wonderful worshiper, a wonderful praise and worshiper, a wonderful instrumentalist, a wonderful person in the different gifts that God has put in you, in the house of God. When you stop doing that, people don't see your good deeds and they don't give, all, they don't give God all the glory. Amen. 
Your good deeds are not supposed to be a secret. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Your good deeds are not supposed to be a secret. Kuna watu wana mambo mazuri lakini wanayafanyanga iwe ni siri. Your good deeds are not supposed to be a secret. There are many of us who have been blessed. There are many of us who are gifted, but your good deeds are a secret. Hello. Na ndio maana unapatanga mchungaji kama mimi Mungu amenipatia kipawa ninaweza kuangalia nijue ni nini ulicho nacho ndani yako na kwa neema ya Mungu ninakitoa ukinipa nafasi ninakitoa kinapata nguvu na kinakomaa amen but there are many people who are gifted they have got something good in them but they want to keep it a secret don't keep a secret that good deed that is inside of you because once you make good you when people see the good deeds in you god is glorified in heaven amen let your light shine before others so that people may see your good deeds and when they see your good deeds they give God all the glory in Jesus name amen one of the strategies of the devil listen to me church one of the strategies of the devil is to try and hide uh, is to try and uh, and on and, uh, and oppose our good deeds one of the strategies of the devil is to try and hide the good deeds that God has put in us that is one of the strategy of the devil the devil will try whatever he can to hide the good deeds that are inside of you. The devil will try whatever he can to veil the good deeds in you. Yaani shetani anaweka kitambaa. Anafunika hiyo kazi mzuri iliyo ndani yako. The devil should not hide the good deeds in you. Praise the name of the Lord. The devil should not hide never allow the devil to hide the good deeds in you. Praise the name of the Lord. I refuse that the enemy will not veil. The enemy will not veil me. The, the devil will not veil the good deeds in me. I refuse in Jesus name. Some of you are very good uh, blessed with different gifts in the house of the Lord, but the enemy has veiled. Amefunika power chako. Shetani amefunika huduma yako ndio isionekane. Refuse in Jesus name. One of the strategies of the devil is to try and hide our good deeds so that people don't see them because when people see the good deeds in us they are going to give God all the glory hallelujah na ndio maana unaona kuna watu wengine wako blessed they are gifted na ile roho shetani anawapiganga nayo ni roho ya uoga and the bible says cowards will not enter heaven fear we have not been given the spirit of fear but we have been given the spirit of power love and self self control sound mind glory be to god Galatians 6 9 talks about uh, let us not become weary of doing good. That is Galatians chapter 6, verses 9. It tells us not to be weary of doing good. Because when we don't give up, a time will come when we shall harvest. When we shall harvest. Praise the name of the Lord. Today I'm talking, you must shine. You will never shine if you are that kind of a person who keeps tired, who gets tired, who gets weary quickly. Refuse to be weary. Refuse to get tired in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I refuse to be weary. I refuse to get tired. Sometimes you wake up and you don't feel as if you can hold the microphone. But go ahead and do the work of God. Because in the time, in the fullness of time, when, when the time of harvest comes, you are going to reap the great harvest in Jesus' name. Amen. You can never shine unless you make a decision to rise from where you are. You can never shine until you make a decision of rising from where you are. Can somebody say, I'm going to make a decision today of rising from where I am? The Bible says, Arise and shine for the glory of the Lord has come. Arise, make a decision. Fanya maamuzi ya kuinuka mahali ulipo katika mavumbi ujipanguze kama ni kuanguko meanguka hata mandiko enasema a righteous man can fall seven times. But he shall rise again. But when a wicked man falls down, they don't rise again. You must arise and shine. So that people, so that you must arise and shine. You can never shine if you don't arise from where you are. And there is grace enough today to cause people to arise from where they are in Jesus' name. Some of you are in a position whereby you are placed there by the altars in your father's house. Altar stopping you from rising, but you are going to rise, arise in Jesus' name. Some of us have been put into a position due to lack of money, poverty, lack of resources, lack of money has put many of us in a position whereby it is not a position of rising, 
But we must arise from where circumstances, situation, and life has placed us. Life has positioned us. Because until we arise, we can never shine. Amen. Don't allow depression to put you to keep you down. Don't allow criticism to put you down. Ha, hallelujah. Don't allow a misunderstanding to put you down. Don't allow the kind of job you are doing today to keep you down. Arise from where you are and shine for the glory of the Lord has come. Praise the name of the Lord. But many of us still want to remain where they are. Many of us want to remain where they are, sitting down where they are. Even the prodigal son. Ilifika mahali akasema mimi nimechoka kula na ngurue. Akasema hata kwa baba yangu ni kuzuri wafanya kazi wa baba yangu wanakula vizuri. The Bible says he came back to his senses and went back to his father's house. May you get back into your senses and rise from where you are. May you rise from eating from eating with the pigs. May you rise from a place of uh, of self pity and arise and shine for the glory of the Lord has come. Today the Lord is speaking to us that you must arise in Jesus name. Deuteronomy chapter 1. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6. The Lord spoke to the nation of Israel when they were in Mount Horeb. Uh, in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6. The Lord spoke to the nation of Israel when they were in the, when they were in the Mount Horeb. They had been in the Mount Horeb for too long. But the Lord spoke to them and told them, Ah, you have stayed into this, in this mountain for too long. Break camp and move forward. Break camp and move forward. Deuteronomy 1.6 the children of Israel had stayed in Mount Horeb for a long time. But they heard the voice of the, of the Lord through his servant Moses. And the Lord told them, you have been in this mountain for too long. Break camp and move forward. Praise the name of the Lord. There are many of us who have stayed in one mountain for too long. I hear the Lord saying, we must break camp and move forward. We have been in that, we have been in that mountain for too long. It is, a, it is our season. It's a, it's a season when we must arise. We must, uh, we must shine. It's a season of us to shine. Praise the name of the Lord. It is a season for you to shine. You must shine. And I repeat again, under the anointing and under the power of the Holy Spirit, you must shine. But you have been in that mountain for too long. God is saying, break camp and move forward in Jesus' name. Amen. We must identify that mountain that you have stayed in for too long. Too long you have been in that mountain for too long you have been in that mountain for too long you cannot be in that mountain for that long we refuse to be in any mountain that has held us captive anymore we are breaking free in jesus name it is our season to arise and shine in jesus name amen we are breaking free from that mountain that has held us captive for many years many months many generations some of us are going to be uh, a breaking news in our family because we are going to achieve what our great great grandfathers did not achieve we are going to achieve what our parents did not achieve but we must align ourselves with god we must align ourselves with god we must get rid of our pride we must get rid of our stubbornness we must get rid of our too much knowing yet we know nothing and allow ourselves to sit at the feet of jesus like mother who said that I better sit on the feet of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, the sister of Mary and, and Mary and mother, one of them chose, and I believe it was Mary, mother who said, Mary who said, let me sit at the feet of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. We must choose to sit at the feet of Jesus. And Jesus said, he has chosen the right thing to be at my feet instead of serving. Glory be to God. You have been in that mountain for too long. Break camp and move forward. But how can you break camp from that mountain that has held you captive for many years if you don't identify that mountain? Some of us, the mountain that has held us captive for many years, it is the mountain called pride. There's too much pride in the church. I'm a pastor, I know. You try to raise people, but there's still a lot of resistance from their side because there's an element of pride. We must develop the spirit of humility. Otherwise, we are going to have an experience of Nebuchadnezzar eating grass for seven years. I refuse to eat grass for seven years. Hallelujah. I refuse to be like a wild donkey eating grass for seven years. I refuse in Jesus' name. The Bible says, humble yourself before the Lord and he shall lift you up. Praise the name of the Lord. 
In Deuteronomy 1, 6, the Lord spoke to them and told them, you have been in this mountain for too long. Break camp and move forward. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, you must identify your mountain. Ha. You must, you must, you must identify your mountain. Some of our mountains are the mountains of culture. Culture. Oh my God. Culture. We have come from cultures that are so, so dominant. We have come from cultures that are so possessive. We have come from cultures that are so possessive. We must break free from some of those cultures in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I am going to identify every mountain that is holding me captive. We must arise in Jesus' name. We must arise. The Bible says, arise and shine for your glory has for the glory of your glory has come. Your glory has come. Amen. You must arise. To arise means some of us we know we use words without understanding what they mean. To arise means to appear. When we talk about to arise, we talk about to appear. The person has appeared. To arise is to appear. To arise is to emerge. To arise is to surface. You have been under, then you surface. The person has, uh, 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 has, has, has risen. The Bible tells us to arise and shine for our for, for, for the glory of the Lord has come. Praise the name of the Lord. Arise. Amen. Amen. We must arise. Tell your neighbor you must arise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Arise and you will see, you will see yourself shining. Arise and you will see yourself shining. Hello. Nobody is the work of the pastor to shine alone. A good pastor will teach you as I'm teaching you today to also arise so that you may shine. Amen. That's why I've been giving you, some of you, an opportunity in the first service to exercise that gift in you so that the gift in you may arise and shine. But some of you don't understand what your pastor is trying to do. I'm trying to cause you to arise and shine. I told you the day I realized I have the calling of God in my life is when my spiritual father sent us it for a mission ground and he did not come. And the people we were with, they told me, your spiritual father said you are the one who is preaching today. And I preached, shaking, preaching, I preached with a, with a lot of fear. And I made an altar call. And a hundred and something like 120 souls came to the Lord. And I could not imagine that they have come to the Lord. And then I said, you may, I thought I even questioned myself. I even doubted whether they really, they really heard me well. And I repeated and I said, you may not have heard me well. I'm calling for anybody who is there and they want to give their life to Jesus. I'm not praying for needs. I'm not praying for people with needs. I'm praying for somebody who is out there and you have not given your life to Jesus. Thirty more came forward to give their life to Jesus. Then I realized, oh, there is something in me. How would I have discovered there is something in me? If my spiritual father had not given me an opportunity to stand in such a great meeting, to preach and see people come to the Lord. Hallelujah. So sometimes when I give you an opportunity to stand here, I want you to distort something in you to arise and shine. For your glory has come. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You know the opposite of rising is falling. If you are not rising, you are falling. And that's why many people, the, the number of the backsliders in the church is many. Many believers are backsliding, are, are backslidden because they fail to realize it is their season to arise. If you are not come away with sikuinuka unainuka. If you are not arising, you will fall. The opposite of arise is falling. That's where there's a lot of backsliding today because people have failed to arise. The Bible says, arise and shine for the glory of the Lord has come. Amen. And the more your light shines, the more it attracts people. People are attracted to your light. The more your light shines, the more you people are attracted to you. Amen. People are attracted to you. The more you let your light shine, people are attracted to you. Have you ever seen uh, those little flies that are attracted to a lighting bulb. Have you ever seen those little flies? That when you light a bulb, a shiny bright bulb, have you ever seen those little flies that are attracted to those bulbs? We normally see those flies in our rural area, in our reserve areas, or where there are so many trees. Kuna tumadudu wa tuna tumetuadudu uwa tunavutiwa na muangaza. Are we together, church? 
That is how you expect it to be. That when your light is shining, people will be attracted to you. Praise the name of the Lord. People have a tendency of being attracted to your bright side more than your dark side. Are we together, church? People have a tendency of being attracted to your bright side more than your dark side. Hallelujah. So keep your bright side shining and many will be attracted to your bright, your, to your bright side instead of your dark side. In Jesus' name. And that's why we are in this church today. We must raise you up. We must pump you with the word of God. The word of God, you must allow it to have a place in you and to grow in you so that your light may shine. And when your light shine, shines, people will be attracted to you. Just like the way those little flies that fly are attracted to a, to a bright bulb, to a bright light that is switched on. Hallelujah. Arise and shine. Tell your neighbor, arise and shine. Arise and shine. For your light has come. Arise and shine. Oh, Rabba Shanda, Rabba Ganda. I pray that God may help us to arise and shine. Until when will you remain in one spot? Until when will you be, remain stagnated? Some of us are stagnated. Miaka inendo kotu maripa moja, my friend. You must arise and shine. You must make progress. God spoke to the nation of Israel and told them, I will, as, as you continue moving forward, as you continue advancing, you will defeat the, I will defeat, I will defeat, uh, you will defeat the Jebusites, the Hevites, the Canaanites, as you move forward, as you advance. Amen. You must arise. I'm here today to provoke you by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that you must arise. Amen. Let your light shine. You must shine in Jesus' name. Listen to me, church. There are demons and people who are assigned against your life. They are assigned for you to stop you from shining. Listen to me. There are demons and there are people who are assigned against you. They are assigned to stop you there are demons and people who specific assignment is to stop you from shining. Nina kwambia kuna mapepo na kuna watu ambao wanawekango katika maisha yako. Kuna mapepo na kuna watu ambao wanaweko katika maisha yako just to stop you from shining. Even there are people who are put in a church like this one to just stop this a church like this one from shining. I'm telling you the truth. Listen to me. You could be a church member and you're in that church and your assignment is not a positive assignment. You don't, have, you don't have the positive energy in that church. You have the negative energy. To stop that church from, from shining. There are people who are like that. You think it is a joke. It is true. Be careful with people. Be careful with people. Be careful with the people you allow in your life. And if you don't believe me, ask me, of, ask me and I will tell you of somebody like Jonah. Jonah went into a ship that almost got shipwrecked. And when people uh, drew some lots, they, realized, they wanted to know who is the problem. Why is this ship that is a well-built ship, a good ship, why is, that, is our ship about to sink? Then they realized it was because of Jonah. And Jonah told them, your ship is about to sink because of me. I'm running away. I'm running away. I'm running away from the assignment God has given me. Be careful the people you allow in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. The people you allow in your life can either lift you up or they can bring you down. I know what I'm saying. Praise the name of the Lord. Ask me and I will tell you. Some of the people you allow in your life, they will cause you to eat the forbidden fruit. The reason why Adam and Eve failed is because Eve ate the forbidden fruit the forbidden fruit and they got disconnected from God there are some people who will tell you to eat things that you, are not, you have been instructed by God not to eat hallelujah glory be to God amen I pray that God may bring the right people in our life that will cause us to arise and shine in Jesus name I pray that God is going to bring people in our lives that are not going to destroy us. They are not going to slow us. They are not going to slow our momentum. But we are going to continue growing in God in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You are able to bring about your promotion or demotion by the people you interact with. So be careful the person you interact with. Be it in church. Be it where you come from. Be where you are living. They can bring about your promotion and they can bring about your demotion. Amen. 
I want to surround myself with people who are going to add value in my life. It is not pride. Tell your neighbor it is not pride. But life is too short. We always say there is a saying that always goes in my mother tongue. That life has no rehearsal. Life has no rehearsal. Life has no trisects and ponyoks. Life doesn't have that. You, you, don't, you don't experiment with the life. Tell your neighbor you don't experiment with the life. Life is too short. You are, either sh you are either rising or you are falling. We must continue rising as a church. We refuse to fall in Jesus' name. Amen. And we pray that God may connect us with the people who have the positive energy to rise up with us and not to fall. Because we are not ready to fall. Hallelujah. Atraki kujia kuanguka chini tu. Unajua kuna watu wengine wakianguka chini wanajichora. Wanajichora kama mtu. Kwa mtu anaanguka chini kana jichora kama mtu. Sana sana wale wamekuwa wameosha hiyo na watoto wa kiochi katuno katunis. Kitu kana katuni kana anguka chini kana jichora. We refuse to fall. We are rising in Jesus name. We are rising. Amen. Today our light my light your light has been unveiled in Jesus name. Today you are going to arise. Yes, today you are going to let your light shine before others so that they may do what? They may see your good deeds and give praise to God in Jesus' name. I want us to stand on our feet, church, in the name of Jesus. You must shine. Today God is speaking to us that we must shine. 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 We must shine in Jesus' name. We must shine. We must shine. Mambo ya kifafa ya kiroho ati kuna kuanga na season una ukosimamo umesimamo uko ndani ya una revival alafu inafika wakati mwingine umeanguka umeanguka hiyo roho tunakataa katika jina la Yesu amen hatutaki Kristo walio na roho ya kifafa roho ya kifafa tunaikataa kifafa ni ugonjwa mbaya sana and we don't want a replica of kifafa ya kiroho we don't want kuwe na watu waze kuwa na kifafa. Unajua mtu akiwa na roho ya kifafa, mtu aliye na ugonjwa wa kifafa na mimi naona nga hiyo ni roho. Na Yesu aliombea watu wengi waliokuwa na roho ya kifafa katika Biblia na akaifukuza na wakapona. Lakini madaktari watapea mtu dawa. Na ni sawa tu maana wadaktari pia wamesomea mambo ya udaktari na mambo ya matembe na madawa. But listen to me. And I'm not mentioning eh, kifafa ama epilepsies just for the sake of as if I'm not sensitive that it has affected many. I know it has affected many. But I'm using that because when I talk about epilepsies, you'll understand. There are people who are spiritual, have a spiritual epilepsy. So anangukanga too. They just fall down today. Wanasimama. Anytime. They can fall anytime. Any opportunity that comes, they fall. But we have a lot of work to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Some of us think that we are going to hold millions because of that job we are doing. Maybe God has purpose you hold millions even as you serve him. Because he has to provide for his work in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you, can you lift up your hands and say, Father, I thank you because it is my season. I must shine in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Anything likely to stop you from shining? Can you deal with it now in prayer? Can you deal with it right now in prayer? Father, it, uh, we must arise and shine. Father, we thank you. It's our season to arise and shine. We refuse to cover our light, uh, our bright light with any manner of bowl in the name of Jesus. It is our season. It is our season to arise. It's our season to arise. It's our season to shine.